And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Tarek Draven. I'm gonna bring this deck back. We played it like last week and it did really well. It was pretty awesome. Um, so we're gonna try it again. So, you know, like we're Targon with Noxus and I've really liked the Targon Noxus combination with being aggressive with these Overwhelm cards. Um, here we're gonna be using some support. We got Tarek, of course, is one of our champions. So we're gonna be using support, so Kato the Arm works perfectly another awesome support card and might might is a great card for Tarek for as far as copying over to the thing that's supporting so you can have might on both Tarek and on the thing that you're supporting very good combination um, but we're gonna be pretty aggressive as we can see nine one drops we got good twos with legion grenadier and mountain goat crescent guardian being a five three overwhelm also helps finish games pretty quickly um, and then, of course, good spells. Guiding Touch, Pale Cascade, a Transfusion, then the Might. And a great top-end card with Captain Farron. So just all kind of good cards that, that work pretty well together and uh, help end games fairly quickly. That's our deck. So we're going to go play our five games over in Ranked. And, um, you know, using our Halloween board today because it is Halloween. We got three other awesome decks on the docket. We got one donation deck with Teemo Dreadway, which looks like a cool deck, which it's going to be um, the Dreadway, which doubles all the damage from our different things and uh, will double the damage of our puff caps and try to give them a bunch of puff caps. So that looks like a lot of fun. We're going to try Unyielding Arena, the deck that we played in uh, over in Normal on Meme Tier Monday that did great. We're going to try it over in Ranked today. And then Trundle Endure is a cheeky one where we're going to be playing a deck that looks like um, it looks like like Trundle Atrocity Ledros kind of stuff, like Trundle Control and Ramp. But we're actually going to be playing They Who Endure, so we're going to be fooling our opponents with that. All right, pretty good start so far. They're just setting up their hand, you know, with them being the Nightfall deck. They can, they can, uh, it looks like they're not doing very much, but they can play a bunch of things very quickly. And for not much mana. And so now they have, they're using that to turn on Nightfall. It's Draven time. I have Pill Cascade and Transfusion to protect against Diana. Is an act of passion. Any act of heresy will be punished. I will be heard. So that's just three three total damage. I'm gonna use the pale cascade. I'd rather use the pale cascade with the Taric, but I guess I use it here. We do have um, our second Taric will have the blessing of Targon. So. Yep, that one looked pretty good for us. Damn, I'm good. Ooh, playing against some ephemerals with Zed Hecarim. Well, we'll keep our one drop and we'll get into the rest. All right, that looks better. So we have the attack token on the odd turns. So like turn five, we would have like. Taric plus Pale Cascade. That's not too difficult to set up. I think we're just going to lead with Saboteur. No one's the on turn one, hope they don't have a one drop. Ah. Everything's in place. Not the worst trade for me, though. Bark Beast can be super scary. Looks like turn three, I'm not doing anything. Play Saboteur. It's just two damage that I'm missing out by playing Saboteur. We can do it. All right, that's important, getting that Soul Shepherd out of here. Pledge yourself to the shadows. 
but that's pretty bad. That's also pretty bad. So I can use Pale Cascade right here to kill Zed, which I kind of have to do. But obviously I'd rather have the Pale Cascade with the Terra where we get to draw two cards. And they only can heal their Nexus 4, it can't go over 20. Kato. Who gets tossed? All right. Ouch. We're going to play the Mountain Goat to block. Only the worthy survive. Shadows cut deep as any weapon. So obviously we got to block these two. Unfortunately, I have to block with one of these also. So I guess it's... Yeah, I really didn't want to block with one of these. Well, like, basically I mean, like, yes, we could we could have Kato block here, but that's still negative one. So, like, I have to block one of these last three also. Um, and it doesn't, so it doesn't really matter which one we block, but Draven's going to have to die also. So, like, I don't have to block here. That's, oh, never mind. Yes, I do. <laughs> exactly 10. All right. Not ideal. Good harrowing took out three of my cards. Welsh Dragon, nine months. Let's go. Thank you, Welsh Dragon. Beauty and life. I appreciate that. Our first sub of the day. Grenadier, eh? So we're going to play Blessing of Targon and one thing... I guess it's Solari Soldier. Then I can play Gem also. Okay. So we're going to have... Gem here... Blessing of Targon here. Attack, support, support. Blessing of Targon over there. So you gotta do some kind of blocking. So I level up Tarek by doing by playing the two spinning axes. We can just also do that next turn. All right, certainly hoping no more harrowings. Obviously, we can't handle another. I guess even just Hecarim would have been lethal right there. That's still lethal. Or I guess... No, it's not... Okay, maybe it's not lethal, actually. As long as we kill the Hecarim first, because then there'll be two twos, so that, yeah, we'll we'll take two. Okay, actually, so we should be fine. Um, I guess Kato can survive. Yeah, we just have to kill the Hecarim. Because then once Hecarim's dead, these won't be five twos anymore. Alright, so four four dies to five five. 3-3 three, three dies to 5-4. I guess might as well just block here, because then 2-2 two, two dies to 5. So that puts me to 1. 
All right, going down to one. Oh wait, why is this? Why is that trading? Why does this thing turn into a five four? Lost in reflection. Why does that sparring student turn into a five four? Ooh, we got some deep. Looks like our opponents are in deep trouble. Because we were playing Taric. All right, I like this. So I don't have anything for turn three, but it's a good one, four, five. Um, obviously, the Pale Cascade, like, we don't have to play anything on turn two. We can just keep the two mana for Pale Cascade to be able to have with Taric. There we go. There's something for three. Not the best, it's just a three, three overwhelm. We would prefer five, three. Well, we'll see how it goes. Looks like I'm just playing 3-3. Three, three. Uh, let, I let my opponent off the hook here. I was thinking they'd have like 3-2... Yeah, they'd have 3-2 lifesteal. Yeah, I let them off the hook there. I should have played that first. Man, I am one mana short next turn. So I need either Kato plus Might for 8 mana, or the Blessing of Targon plus Might for 8 mana. Like right now, we can go Kato and Pale Cascade, but really 1 mana short from what we want. But I guess we just go Kato, Pale Cascade. Yeah, I think that's better than Blessing of Targon. We'll, t we'll attack in the opposite order. Start with Kato going down. Alright. Never submit. I can see them blocking the 2 1. Yep. That's alright. We'll feel pretty good about getting this the next turn. So let's see, so we'll have six and seven as far as mana goes. So we'll have 13 total mana before next turn, which is perfect for Kato, Blessing of Targon, and Might. That costs 13 mana. Set them up for that. Set the hooks. That's a great card for them. Three mana removal for either Tarek or or Kato. Hmm. All right. So next turn against seven mana. So that means I could have Tarek Might, which means we can play Saboteur. Saboteur or Precious Pet? I guess Saboteur. Yeah, because they're going to want to block Dredge Edgers with something else. Now we'll have Tarek Might. Don't worry. I am here. Don't kill anything. Uh, don't have Devour Depths. I was thinking like Devour would only be a 4 4 and it wouldn't be able to get rid of anything. I should have just attacked. I got really punished for playing the Terrick. I should have just attacked and just played Might on like the Kato. Like they block Kato, I might it. But you know, like that that plan is just not good against like Vengeance or something of that ilk. Just please don't have Devour Adepts. Nautilus is okay. They can have Nautilus. Just not Devour. Because Devour takes out two things. No. Man, I really don't think that I should have lost this game. I feel like ever like like turn three, not playing this guardian first, we miss out on three damage there. If I just don't if I just don't play the Taric, I don't know, that's that's rough. Jettis so if I go if I go might on the Taric and then copy it over to the Saboteur. So they block they block Taric. And then that's five, eight, nine, minus one, eight. That puts them to two. Might as well play both of these. I was gonna get it my way. 
Hey, what's up, Godzone? We dealt the same amount of damage, we're able to save our might. Besides Ruination, they had like two things they could have. They could have like Ruination or Jettison plus Devour Deaths. That was about it. I've never heard of traps with this deck, or with this game. Puff caps count as traps? Never heard of traps. Hey, good afternoon, Cabo. So this is gonna be a close one. I should be playing the Mountain Goat, by the way. This is gonna be a close one. Um, they're at one. Alright, GG's, no atrocity. That was one that shouldn't have been that close. Alright, Trundle, Aurelian Soul, Rampin, probably gonna have some Field of Rush in here. Um, I mean, this is a good curve, one through four. The Crescent Guardian will just be a 3-3 three, three Overwhelm. I'm gonna... I'm gonna mulligan that. Um, we may just save our, cause you know, we'll have the attack token turn four. There we go. So I'd rather have Draven, but then we could also, you know, best case scenario, we draw Draven to fill the curve. Worst case scenario, like we have like spell mana to use with Taric. So not really any bad case scenarios. Whoa, brand new Twitch Prime sub with Horizon Sword. Y'all get some hype votes in the chat for our brand new Twitch Prime sub, welcome to the channel. Thanks for that support. Victory at any cost. Okay. All right, let's get Draven in here. So Tarek, Tarek's not doing a whole lot for me except for like the support gain tough. Beauty and life. But I think I still play it, start that support chain, start leveling up Tarek. I can give the 2-1 tough so that it doesn't die. And the spinning axe counts as like targeting these other things. So like the spinning axe wouldn't be, wouldn't be copied over. Um, all right, which one do we want to discard? Mountain Goat or Legion Saboteur? Probably Mountain Goat, I guess. Now we're cooking. <laughs> yeah, they want me to waste the axe and discard something. But I'm I'm happy with that. I spent zero mana to trade my mountain goat with it. Like, you know, we just traded two drops, except for I spent zero mana on my two drop. 
theirs gained them two life. Good, not not Avalanche. Lasso Nexus Healing. No one's the wiser. Thought me smell something. Lasso Nexus Healing. Ugh, sorry, Kato. Ooh. Maybe I just do that right now. I'm already copying the Guiding Touch, so I'd already draw a card. <clears throat> yeah, we don't have to. Because we're already going to draw a card anyway. Never submit. There you are. So we're at five. So this puts them down to five. So I can I can go for lethal with transfusion, pale cascade, spinning axe. Boredom. I don't know if that's too necessary. Like what? I guess like frostbite cards, and they've already played a bunch of nexus healing. I kind of feel like doing it. Let's do it. Let's go for lethal. I guess I don't even have to... I don't even have to play the Spinning Axe. Oh, I guess my, my time ran out during the animation, so even if I wanted to play the Spinning Axe, I couldn't because my time ran out while the animation was happening. Puts them to two. I should have done the Pale Cascade over here on the Mountain Goat with this leveling up to be 3 power anyway. Uh, it's the same thing. It would have been 3 and 3 anyway. It's the same. Alright, so they're at 1. The Grenad you know, whenever the Grenadier dies, that does 1 damage to them. Alright, back to 4. No Aurelian Soul yet. What's up, Captain Farron? What's up, Captain? What time is it? Alright, it's Kato Clock. Ooh, I love that might. That's a great draw. Let's go might. Here, um, you go over here. Unyielding. I give you muscles. Found you. Let's talk about your dad. Oh yeah, maybe I should make the grenadier the thing that can't die. Yeah. Tis fine. Tis fine. I guess maybe I should have done. I. I was thinking about the Might thing. I guess I didn't really consider that the Can't Die. I guess I should have done that on the Kato, the whole Can't Die, but um, I didn't want to. The reason why I didn't want to do it on the Kato is because of Hush. Like, right, right, like we saw Hush, we, I think Frostbite spells Hush. I didn't want to go like all out of like having this really big dope. thing that just gets Frostbitten or Hushed. I wanted to spread out the wealth and make like everything pretty good attackers. All right, there we go. GG's. So I wanted to pump up my two weakest things. Alright, same matchup. I think same opponent. 0, 5, 11. I think same opponent. So they're going to know a little bit of what to expect. Ooh, triple one drop on turn two. So if they don't have their two mana one three, you're going to be doing lots of damage. I have my orders. Pass back. 
Yeah. No one's the wiser. In position. All right, hopefully no avalanche. Just do something else. That's not avalanche. All right, that's not avalanche. And we'll go to attacks with having transfusion plus pale cascade. Let's talk about your dad. I know we can do more, go for more damage on them, but I'm just gonna clear out their blocker. They have a lot of Nexus healing. King of Trolls coming through. What time is it? Eight o'clock. Oh man, we could play Tarek. So what put it, all right, what's what's the worst thing that can happen if I play Tarek from their deck? I guess Avalanche. Open is not lethal. <laughs> Remember, they they can have tons of Nexus healing and and removal and and hush and all this, you know, all this kind of stuff. So it's not just it's it's an attempt at lethal, yes, but is it better to play Tarek? Um Icequake Oh yeah, Trundle spell, Icequake. Okay, that's that's scary, isn't it scary? No, they they die if they play. Oh no 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 no. Um. All right, I guess Trun I guess Icequake's scary because the minus three minus zero also. You got a problem? I'll just attack, and I was running out of time, so I didn't get to really choose what we're doing. Put him to one. All right, there we go. Yeah, Ice Quake's scary. Avalanche I wasn't too, as scared of, but Ice Quake, yeah. All right, so there's another 5-0 for this deck. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. There's not really bad cards in here, you know? Like, you're either really gonna have like all these one drops and two great twos. You have good spells with Guiding Touch, Pale Cascade, Transfusion. Uh, we talked about maybe going two and three, you know, that way. I'm not sure if there's like a huge difference either way. You know, like it's, it's gonna be a minimal difference. Um, whichever one you want to do three of with Transfusion and Guiding Touch, go ahead. Um, let's see. And then, you know, our two champions are both. Very good. And this, this deck really shows off the power of Tarek with being able to combine it with Might and just um, an aggressive start. Um, you know, yeah, like the, those definitely show off the power. And then you have this awesome top end. Uh, Kato the Arm's just an all-star in here. Puts so much power into play. Um, and then Captain Farron for whenever your decks, you know, your opponents do stabilize and you're playing a longer game. That, that card just ends the game's... All right, that's Tarek Draven. That's what I got. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. If you've been trying this deck out, let me know how it's going for you or anything else about it. Love to hear. But thank you so much for watching some Tarek Draven, and I'll see you for the next video.